Hello, this is Carrie, and it's the holidays, and I've been cooking Thanksgiving food and getting ready to throw Christmas parties and cook Christmas food, and I really missed this cookbook. <laughs> I just moved about a month ago, and my cookbooks are in storage, and I forgot to unpack this one, so I got it from my local library, and I'm hungry for Mediterranean food, which isn't very Christmassy, <laughs> but I wanted to give you a preview through Erin Gleason's Forest Feast Mediterranean Vegetarian Cookbook. It is incredibly visual. She encourages us to eat just colorful food and the pictures jump off the page and she makes it really interesting, or interesting, really easy to cook the recipes because she shows you a picture of what you're gonna need, the ingredients, and then how it's gonna turn out and then very easy steps. So let's take a look through. She starts off with a map of the Mediterranean. Abrams is the publisher. And there she is in the Mediterranean. The table of contents is pretty simple. Introduction, snacks, drinks, salads, small plates, pasta, vegetable sides, sweets, how to host a Mediterranean dinner party, and a travel guide. So introduction. She draws the illustrations on the pages herself in watercolor. She is an artist as well as an author and recipe developer. Tips for using this book, recipes all serve four to six people. So in my household, we usually have two people. So that means we'd have lots of awesome leftovers. Oh, there's her family. At least at the time this cookbook was published, I bet the kids are bigger now. So we start off with the snacks chapter. Beautiful photography. Makes you want to travel, doesn't it? Sauces and how to make them yourself. And I've been pretty lazy because I live near a Trader Joe's, but I should make my own. Dressed up olives. Let me find a, a crudité platter. How gorgeous is that? And I often tried to get purple broccoli to make my kids eat broccoli. It didn't work. But it was worth a try. Burst tomatoes and torn mozzarella. She just makes it so easy with very few ingredients necessary. Here's some tiny, they're like tapas, but they're pinchos. I probably just said that wrong. Banderillas. Stuffed cherry peppers. So let's skip ahead to the next chapter because I can't show you the whole book. Oh, so colorful though. I, I want to show you every page. Okay, the drinks chapter. Here is a drink I drink often in the evenings in the summer, an Aperol Spritz. A Tinto de Verano. Ooh, that is red wine and lemon seltzer. Hey, I have both of those ingredients in the house right now. I see that she garnished it with the strawberry, but I have raspberries in the house. How to set up a gin and tonic bar. Lavender lemonade. Here's the salads chapter. Oh, ho, ho, I have to show you this one. A golden beet and orange salad with some red onions. A fried lentil salad. I need to eat more lentils, so I need to use that recipe. Avocado and bean salad. Let's jump ahead. Greens and grains with roasted carrots. Chickpea and torn mozzarella salad. There's a lot of salads in this book. Italian wild rice salad. Here's the small plates chapter. Grilled vegetable and cheese platter. This is definitely a summery cookbook. Burrata and olive antipasto. Fig cake with dried cherries. I love any dessert that has cherries in it. Greens and beans tartines. Here's eggplant pizzettes. So cute. Spinach rice pie. I've never heard of that recipe. I'm very curious to try it. I think I'll try it myself in case I don't do it good and I don't think kids will eat that. More travel photos. Here's the pasta chapter. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Trophy with pesto. Brussels sprout pappardelle. 
Pasta a la Norma. Mini artichoke lasagnas. How cute are that? And I often forget to use my ramekins, and I want to, so this would be a good way to use them and enjoy them. Here's the vegetable sides chapter. I referred to this during Thanksgiving. I forget what I made out of it. Baked zucchini strips was not it. Not very Thanksgiving-y. Honey lime fried eggplant. Parmesan crusted tomatoes with eggplant and greens. Sweet potatoes with feta dressing. That's what I made on Thanksgiving. Spicy broccolini and leeks. We're getting down to the end of the book. Frozen banana mousse. Honey pistachio bars. Lemon sorbet mimosas. Adding another drink back in. That's the Forest Meese Feast Mediterranean. I hope you enjoyed this preview, and I'll see you in the next video.